How can you take your RV frame from looking like this to looking like this? Emma is doing one of the most important jobs, and that is? Cleaning up under the tires. While you're cleaning the dirt, initial dirt off of the frame. I like this job, even if it's kind of Yeah, well, you're small and you can fit. You can see the rust in the corners and the dirt on there. You can using these wire brush bits. Unlabeled bottle of blue. Unlabeled bottle of blue. To clean up the <laughs> extra. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be the brand. It's no. denatured alcohol to clean off the, any dirt residue and rust residue. Getting ready for painting. Because yep. you got to cover those spots up. Yep. But uh, we'll show you here when I get down to another area. Name, but what is a good name? What is a good name? Woes. Woes? Woes. Rose. Yeah. Hard to tell with that apple in your mouth. Uh, so we did the other side. And this side we have washed with a wet rag and then sanded spots that looked rusty. This actually is pretty good. Yep. It was mostly behind tires where there's a lot of water um, during travel. And then um, now I'm getting rid of the dirt and the residue left over from Sandy uh, using my little blue can of denatured alcohol. And then it's all set for Garrett to spray paint uh, any of the spots that um, we sanded and looks like there's rust there's that needs to be covered. There's mostly touch-ups, so places that have touch up, paint, yeah. we're not painting over per yeah. se. If we haven't had to sand it, like a lot of this we left alone. We've just cleaned it. Yep. Uh, we're gonna just seal it. So it's just cleaning it. But um, you'll we, see behind the tires. We did a lot underneath the wheel wells. And that you'll, yeah, the wheel wells were really bad. You'll yeah. see where we've just grinded away at it. And now we need to paint that again before we can seal it. So you can see here, that's a lot of rust. I'm not and all those little swirl areas, that's where we have uh, used the wire brush. And honestly, doing it with a power tool has probably saved us a lot of time. If we try to do this by hand, we'd still be on the left hand side. Our goal really is just to keep the rust in, in check and not getting um, out of control because that could start damaging the frame. And uh, since this is our home, we don't want to do that. So for the underbelly, for the paint, we've been using a Rust-Oleum Flat Protective Enamel. I just want a nap. Apparently, he just wants a nap. Guys. This is the best way to look underneath here because I tried being on my knees and looking up underneath and I can't do anything. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We're good for the first coat, huh? Pretty much. So tomorrow we touch up anything we need to, right? Final touch-ups, sealant coat along the whole thing. Day two is well underway. We are putting on the final touches. This is what we're putting on as our protective coating. It is a protective wax coating, RP342 black, and it's a rust preventative. 
and it's also a wax. So it adds another layer of protection on our frame. This is fantastic stuff. It wasn't cheap. That's what we'll be putting on the, our frame when we get this all done. It is military grade, which is why it smells like an army surplus store. <laughs> I started spraying this on, I was like, I recognize that smell right away. So they put this specific stuff on, you know, military equipment that they're putting in long-term storage and they don't want to rust. Yeah. They spray this over it and all they have to do when they're done is wash it with, I think, petroleum-based uh, cleaners that will take this off. Take it off of your arms? Um, the soap, know. the soap is taking it some of off. see that? I don't know if you can see it. Like, he is completely speckled. Oh, there we go. Ah! You're in that close to my face. <laughs> I think he got dirty enough that I'm going to refrain from this part. I did help with a little bit of the spray painting, doing some touch-ups on what he had done I'll yesterday. Let do, I'll let you do the bottom part over the, the, the big frame, low drop frame. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to get speckled like you. So it says to shake well, and then you just... Interesting. It's kind of drippy. It's kind of drippy. And that's it, you just let it dry, and then it uh, creates a wax coating. Um, and how and, long and does it last? Some people say that they've used it over, th put a coat on, and it's been, it's worked for over three years. So it's not something you have to apply every year? No. But if you do a reapply, just, just cleanse wipe the area, wipe you, the area You down. wipe it down with a cleaner that takes it off, and then you can reapply it again. It's been a couple months since we have put the protective coating on our trailer. You can see the wax is still holding up pretty well. Most of that is just dirt from traveling and kind of just life. It's a great product. It's a great way to protect your frame. It's a uh, great project to help preserve the integrity of the frame on your RV. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live life intentionally. Bye.